Welcome! Uh, I am Thornathus, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2. Um, to make it easy, well, not exactly easy, but you know what I mean, uh, interesting, I'm going to be starting as Chief Garnas uh, of Marienburg, and I have a few sort of guidelines for myself I'm following for this. What I want to do, you can see I start out here as a Prussian following the remove of faith. What I want to do is form most likely the Kingdom of Lithuania, um, possibly maybe Pomerania, depending on how things shake out, uh, become Catholic, and then meddle in European affairs, and possibly hold back the other faiths over here in the East. Um, but starting out, obviously, as a count, uh, give myself a bit of a challenge here. Gonna have to, first of all, take out my, my liege, and then go from there. I'll be starting from the Old God start in 867. I know some people don't exactly like it. They think it's too easy for pagans. I tend to agree, especially if you're Norse. The Norse getting their little conquest, cast a spell on all their neighbors who are not Norse. Pretty powerful. But I'm going to be starting as Remova and eventually becoming Catholic, so that'll put a little bit of a dampener on uh, being able to expand at such a massive rate. And I don't plan on blobbing that hard anyway, so let's get started. Now the game will generate us some traits, and uh, let's see what we got. Alright, obviously we're a count. Uh, we have a very low sta uh, stewardship, that's not going to be great. As you can see up here, we have a 1 in our domain size, and that's under gavel kind. Uh, so that's not great. Other than that, we have content, proud, and craven is a terrible trait. So, we're going to have our work cut out for us. Uh, first of all, what I need to do is set my ambition to get married, and then find us a wife. A wife of my faith is what I would prefer. Um, but I might have to settle for something else. Um, this woman right here, she doesn't have the greatest of traits, but she's got pretty good stewardship. Probably, uh, not the highest, but close enough to it, the highest 13, so yeah, very close to it. Going to pick her as my wife. And I tend to play on speed 5. I really like speed 5. Um, I think the game just flows better that way. And I mean, we've got around 600 years of history to go through, so let's get started. Gotten married. I always tend to pick the prestige, because I don't marry up, I marry down. I usually marry for traits. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Uh, go to my council here. I have an actual good chancellor, which is going to help us out immensely, because I'm going to need him to fabricate claims on this province. Uh, what is it, Galindia? And then Marshall's also pretty good. That'll increase our levy size. Might be able to even collect some taxes. We're going to send our spy master. I might give him some money because he doesn't exactly like us. And it's not a good thing to have uh, in a spy master. They plot against you. They try to kill you. That kind of thing. I'm going to send him to Constantinople to study technology. As we are a count, we do not generate any technology points on our own. So until we become a duke, this is our only method of gaining points. And, uh... Byzantines, Constantinople starts out with the best tech in the game, so that's why we send them there. Set my ambition to have a son, to continue my dynasty. Uh, let's look here. I don't really want this guy to do anything. I'm just going to have him research cultural tech for now. Not research, but... Yeah, research. Sorry. Uh, it'll give us a cultural tech spread rate from our liege, I think. I'm not exactly clear how that works, but... Hopefully that's how it works. And, yeah... Trying to get a claim on this province. This guy's levy maximum is 229 plus his vassal is 166. That's if his vassal has a 100 opinion of him and he has a negative. So he will get none of that levy when we attack him. We have two vassals. Um, most likely they're not happy with us. Let's take a look. No, they're not happy with us. So I'm going to start out by giving this guy a cupbearer title. Increase his opinion to at least positive. He'll give us a little bit of levy. This guy here, we're going to make him our champion, plus 20, and send him a gift. 27, good. So, both our vassals like us, they're paying us money. Um, yeah, so let's get going, let's, uh, let's make things happen. 
And what I'm hoping for this series is to do a partial education, partial, just casual. I, I've played this game 350 hours so far, so I tend to know what I'm doing. Um, pretty well, at least. You know, not a master of the game by any stretch of the imagination. But, I'm not bad at it. And I hope starting as a count will sort of curtail me from blobbing all over this region like I usually try to do. We do not have a kid yet. Now, Mastermind Theologian, that's unfortunate that our wife has that because... Oh, we got a gold stipend from our, uh, from our steward. Because that gives her a fertility penalty. Although, either way, uh, we have a kid now. Or, she is pregnant. So that's all well and good. Uh, my Chancellor is badgering me, and now he has a negative opinion of us. Actually, no, he doesn't. That's strange. Sometimes events like that just don't uh, work out properly. I don't know what it is. All right, so we have a child. Um, I usually just keep the names as standard, just because I tend to think the game comes up with halfway decent names on its own. So... Oh, and since we're at Remova, we have terrible moral authority, because we do not control every holy site, and... Uh, it's just, it's not a good position to start out of, uh, to start out in if you have low moral authority. You can get heresies and fun things like that. But I'm not exactly sure Remova has anything like that. So I don't think we'll have to worry about it as much as, say, Christianity, where you can get things like, you know, um... Cathar, which is probably the most fun to play with, because it lets you appoint, uh, female council members, and also, uh, generals. Having women as your generals can be pretty great. Now, this event here, I can either become paranoid or become trusting. I'm going to try and become trusting. And I got it! Trusting's a good trait because it gives you diplomacy. I love me some diplomacy. It's very good for realm stability. And, you know, realm stability is what I'm big on in this game. For me, going elective succession later on, once I actually become a, uh, a duke is generally how I play the game. I don't like Primogenitor because it lets your firstborn influence things too much and then you might have to kill him later on, that kind of thing. This event... Do I want to become a scholar or go for Mystic? I'll become Scholar instead. And there we go. Scholar gives you bonus with the same trait, obviously, and gives you a bonus to learning. Learning, not really that great. I don't really care that much for it, but, you know, it's a free trait. I'm not going to complain. I didn't have to pay anything for it. So essentially at this point in the game, what we're doing is building up some money, which we're making 1.23 a month, and waiting until we can get a claim on this province. Once we get a claim on this province and, you know, conquer a second territory, things start to open up. I would probably going to generate a claim on this one and then overthrow my liege, take his duchy, that kind of thing. That's when the real gameplay is going to start. So until then, it's playing the waiting game. Got a 15% chance to fabricate a claim every year with our pretty great uh, chancellor. Like, I'm kind of happy that I got him. Our neighbors. Oh, do I want a bastard child? I'm starting to think this woman might fancy me. Uh, yeah, why not? Good to be a chief. Yeah, sure it is. I mean, it's workable, but it's not the best thing in the world, I'll tell you that. Alright, so we got... need 149 to build this barracks, which I generally go for the barracks first if the militia training ground hasn't been built. Just to gives you another 45 soldiers, and in the early game, that really can help you out. So we'll wait until we have enough gold to do that, and then have it build. Building is going to take how long? About a year, that's fine. Hopefully by then we'll get a claim on this. That's what I'm really looking forward to, because his martial skill is terrible. Your levy is heavily influenced by your martial, your individual martial score. And since he has a zero, he has almost no levy, and his vassals aren't going to give him anything because they don't like him. Our vassals, on the other hand, will give us 43 whole soldiers, so that'll round us up to 490 if we can get a claim. Now, vassal opinion is affected by a number of things. Uh, mainly the reason they don't like me right now. Uh, let's pause for a second. I have a child that needs education. Oh, my little girl. Let's give her an education under... Can I give her a diplomatic education? Yes. 
I'm gonna pick this guy. Uh, he's my... Yeah, he is Ramova, and I believe he's a Prussian, so won't change culture or anything like that. That could be a bit of a problem. Hopefully here we get a son, because I'm already 30 years old, I need an heir. I need a proper heir. Uh, if you if you take control as a female ruler, get a minus 10, I believe, opinion penalty with all of your vassals. Not that that's a game, you know, a game changer, but it is a bit of a pain, especially in the early game when you only have a couple vassals. But it doesn't matter, because we got a son. Good. Now I can pick a different ambition. And what do we got? I want to improve our martial skill. Now that'll fire after a certain amount of time. I mean... You don't exactly know when it's going to happen, but events pop up where you gain one or gain two or whatever. And now I'm going to build that barracks. Now, as long as I can get that claim within a year, I might go negative in funds at that point, which wouldn't be great. But again, it's still workable. You get some bad events from it, but it's not going to absolutely destroy you. I'm hoping that actually my wife doesn't have a... Uh, a second son, because when I take this province, it'll be split among the two of them, because I am currently under Gavelkind, where are your children? Uh, you want to be a new spy master? Yeah, fine. I gotta reassign him. Didn't even get me an event with the old one, so good enough. Where's I going? All right, Gavelkind. Um, all of your eligible. Uh, it's normally male children. Well, oh, nice! We got an attractive daughter. That's good. Those traits are somewhat easy to pass on. I mean, she's not going to be able to pass it on with her brother, but um, somewhere down the line, we'll, we'll marry her off matrilineally, which means her children will be of my dynasty, and then maybe I'll get some dynasty members that get the attractive trait. And it's it's vassal opinion bonus that comes with this is so nice say if you have like a female vassal you get like a 30 opinion if you're a male or if they're a homosexual female you'd get a 30 with them as well if you're a female ruler my wife is pumping out children that is that is good now what province does she actually have all right so i might actually get a claim on that my courtier has died uh that was my lover the woman who i slept with oh well I mean, she didn't have a kid, so didn't really have any problems. Uh, I want you to be my new diviner. Sure, it really doesn't matter. Considering I'm having him do almost nothing right now, it's not that concerning. And you see, I thought I clicked on the province with the uh, spy master, but apparently I didn't. And let's actually put him in Constantinople this time. Another daughter, this is shaping out to be very well. I like having one son and a whole bunch of daughters, at least until I can get elective succession. Once you get elective, it doesn't matter who your kids are anymore. Just pick the best one, and if you got good vassal opinion, they'll vote for him, him or her. Now you, you need to generate me a claim, sir. Uh, just another drunken fool. Yeah, I can't be spending 50 gold at this stage, because if this fires, I gotta go after it. All right, so it's been about 12 years so far. This is the event chain that gets you a eunuch, I believe. And normally the eunuchs have pretty good skills and they are fiercely loyal. Like they have pretty much the highest loyalty in the game because, hey, you're a eunuch, you're a loyal servant, you get plus 100. So unless I'm a real asshole, this guy's gonna stay on my side forever, he won't plot to kill me or anything. He can't have kids, he can't hold titles. Somebody died. My wife is pregnant again. Gaining a decent amount of prestige from all those pregnancies. That's all well and good. I believe up to 2,000 prestige factors into vassal opinion. Oh, my new mayor doesn't like me. Gotta make him a champion. They must love being called champion. Uh, I'll pay this time. We have a deal. And I can actually give him a second. I'll make him Master of the Blade. 
I gain plus one in martial, and that's that event chain's gonna continue, even though I fulfilled my ambition. And I have a second son. He's sickly, though. Uh, not anymore. Uh, so he, he's gonna survive, more than likely. See, so yeah, that event chain can give you... I think it's up to three martial. Oh, four. Never mind. And prestige. That's a, that's a really good event. Uh, so now I have 11, which means my levy is now raised to 576. That's also factored into by my uh, marshal being in my city to train troops, or my holding. Oh, now my eunuch is going to only like me by 75 instead of 94. That's unfortunate. Yeah, a little bit of an unfortunate turn of events here that I haven't gotten a uh, county claim yet. Ah, my firstborn could use some, uh, firstborn son could use an education. I want to make him, I am the same, or, well, it's not the same tutor. Being given a position on the council of my liege. Uh, marshal, I accept. I believe that gives me, uh, if I had the ambition, it would have given me plus one marshal, but. Unfortunately not. My chancellor died. Good thing I have a decent enough one to step into his place. Let's keep going. So yeah, for videos like this, uh, I plan on doing an entire playthrough that most likely with like 20 to 30 minute episodes, probably going to be around 20 to 30 videos until I'm in a point where I just don't feel like continuing because the game tends to spiral out of control. Where once, you, once you're able to take, say, a kingdom, you can just kind of go crazy, especially as a pagan, but I'm not going to stay pagan. So it, it's a possibility that I'll be, you know, continue to be tempered in my expansion, but holy wars against heathens, you can take whole duchies in one war, and then the game just starts to spiral, especially when there's a lot of small duchies around you, or small kingdoms around you. Uh, you can just take chunks over and over and over again, and just put your guys in charge, and there's no trouble whatsoever. And, oh, thank God, we got the county claim. 17 gold, 50 prestige, and we gained the claim. So, let's look if he has any allies. He has zero. His current levy, 229 plus 169. Mine, 576. And whatever I can get out of these. So my total levy is going to be around 600. That's going to work out really well against this guy. I'm going to claim his province. And raise up my troops. I have 655. Put in some generals. I got my eunuch and my other vassals. Can't put myself in charge for some reason. Wait for my morale to increase. And then I'm just going to go at him. Let's do this. Let's take this territory and get this LP on the road. Took out his entire army. And I have more than his... I actually have more soldiers than he has defenders. So the siege can continue. I'm already at 75% war score. Uh, your opponents typically don't surrender and give you what you want until you're at 100%. Once I siege down his top holding here, I should be at 100%, and we should be good to go to take that territory from him. Let's have her educated. I don't really care who the females of my dynasty are educated by. Um, complain to the liege about the chancellor's inappropriate behavior. Um... Maybe it's nothing. I'll lose the prestige. I don't want to really rat out my chancellor. He's really good. Uh, all right, so we're at 100%, and we take his county. We're going to move our chancellor into this county now, considering he also has no allies and a pretty low levy. Um, that's going to be good. All right. So now we control multiple territories. We have another vassal. My spy masters keep dying without doing anything. It's actually kind of disappointing. Make him master of the bow. Give him a gift to make him happy. And appoint a new spy master. And send him down here. So now, since we have at this point, we can go to this menu, the realm tree, to figure out what our liege, what our strength over our liege is. Right now, we are at 78% of his strength. So if we wanted to, we could go to this faction uh, menu and start a faction if you know we had one to be able to start 
Uh, normally, you could do things like change the liege's succession law. Uh, you could obviously revolt, which I could do right now, but I don't really want to. Uh, I want to gain basically three quarters of the duchy, usurp it, and then de jure claim on him. I mean, he is my half-brother. We are related. Then again, I thought I was related to this guy, but I wasn't. I think it was the guy who was in charge of this that I was actually related to. Oh well. My firstborn daughter became a great eminence. That is the top tier diplomacy um, diplomacy education. That's great. It gives you 9 in diplomacy. It gives you 10% bonus to fertility. I'm going to try to marry her off matrilineally. And to someone decent. Um, yeah, let's get quick into the dynasty. You. Thank you. doing this mainly just because I want to eventually go into elective and I believe I, I can do that under a duchy I should be able to do that under a duchy and uh, yeah because then any male children there if they have quick quick is a plus three to all of your stats here to all of your abilities it's very very powerful not as good as genius but you know can't get too greedy not yet anyway now I think, can I go raiding? Can I raid? I, I'll admit, I don't really play Remova. I played Remova once and they were fun and I can raid, okay. I might go here and he has a Count Vassal. What's your actual levy though? Yeah, he's got a decent levy. What about this person? Decent levy, decent levy. They all have good military scores except for the actual leash. So we're not gonna do any raiding right now. But later on, we will be doing a lot of raiding. It gives you a bastard child. You naughty, naughty girl. You're not even married yet. What's wrong with you? Bridge is inspected, and we get some opinion bonus with people. Uh, this levy is going to replenish. Actually, I thought it would replenish slowly, but apparently it doesn't have the conquered territory penalty there. I think that normally lasts for five years, or you're at a minus 75%. And we got another claim, so let's do this. Uh, you have still no allies. Um, what's your levy look like? Do your vassals like you? They do like you. Okay. So, hmm. 274, 78, and 200. No, I should be fine to declare this war and take it. I'll be going above my domain limit. Not for long, though. Not for long. My, everyone keeps dying. This is the thing about this game. You can think you have a really great council, and they'll just they'll die constantly. It's unfortunate, but... What can you do except for try to attract better people to your realm, I guess? Alright, wait for my morale to go up. We have more than double his soldiers, so let's go in and do that. Combat in this game, some people like to say it boils down to who has more numbers. Tends to actually be true. But there are times where you can have a couple thousand more guys, and terrain, and your leaders, you can actually pull off a good victory. But it doesn't matter here. We crushed him. We have an 84 uh, war score already. Uh, come on. Yes. This guy doesn't like us because I'm a foreigner, I'm a different religion, and he's ambitious. Doesn't matter. He'll never get control of anything, so... Too bad for him, I guess. My other son, I'm going to have him trained... Do I want him trained militarily? This guy will give him some decent, like, temperate, just, and patient is pretty good, and brilliant strategist is pretty nice. Yeah, I'll have him trained by him. Or educated, sorry. And... Um, there we go. That county is mine. So I think that's a good point to end this episode. We've taken three of the counties out of the four that uh, that reside in the duchy of our liege and we're going to be ready to make a move on them in the next episode and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one hopefully and uh all right have a good one